Here are five ways to improve your chances of getting a job as a healthcare assistant, senior carer, a companion, a support worker, living carer in the UK in 2022. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you're coming across this channel for the very first time, my name is Faith or Johnny, and if you're a returning subscriber, you know how we do it here. Welcome back again. It's good to have you back. So in today's video, I'll be talking about five effective ways for you to be able to land yourself a job in the UK from experience and other people's experience as well. So if this is something you're interested in, sit down, relax, and let's get started. <music> So I have some friends that have moved to the UK recently with a new health and care worker visa and I have some that have gotten offers in Nigeria and they are currently waiting for their COS. They've been able to share their tips and tricks with me. So I feel like instead of keeping it to myself, why not I just come here and share this vital information with you guys. I decided to break it down into five points. Okay, we already know that getting a job in the UK is not beans. I mean, even if you're living in the UK, for you to be able to land yourself a job in the UK, it is not easy, it takes a while and it's a process. So number one for me will be start your process as soon as possible. I mean, if you start applying for a job now, there's no guarantee that you get a job in the next one month or two months. My friend that just migrated to the UK via the healthcare visa from Nigeria, she started her process seven months ago. It took her seven months to be able to get a job as a carer in the UK. The second point is get all these necessary certification you need. I mean, you know, whenever you go through all the job um, vacancy and you'll be saying, oh, you need to have MVQ level two, level three, or equivalent or RFQ. All of those certifications, you do not have to be in the UK to have this certification. You can register with an approved accredited academy in the UK here to be able to get that certification. And as well come to the UK on a visitor's visa and stay back and take that certification before you leave the UK. You can do like a part-time course. Also, there are some free certification for those that cannot afford to take the iron mvq level one or two i've made a video about that before like free certification you can go and take those courses and add them on your cv if you have experience you can read you can write trust me getting a job in the uk won't be that hard you need first-hand experience because that is what matters to these companies more than your certificate they want to know that you can do this job because a care job is not an easy job so experience is key here this is my third point is experience you need to get that experience you need to get the clinical experience so all you can do for those that are not in the uk you need to go to a hospital or a care home and work for them even if it's for free for at least minimum of three months or six months so that you know you have this first-hand experience while you're working as a carer in your home country you can then start applying for jobs in the uk as a carer and so during the interview they ask you um, you tell them you're currently working as a carer or you're currently working in a hospital as a nurse so if you're not watching this video like and you want to migrate to the uk you don't want to come via the the nursing route this is the best route for you the fact that you're already a nurse in your home country is going to give you an upper hand on landing yourself a job in the uk focus on getting the experience more than you're focusing on getting the certification and have all your necessary um documents ready like um ilts they need it um tb test you should take the tb test after you get an offer because the result comes out almost immediately but ilts is valid for two years so once you start the process and you can see that oh there's there seems to be like am i landed myself a job now just try and write the ilts and have at least a minimum of a band five or a band six just to stay safe because some companies have a particular requirement the band or they want you to have so my fourth point now is you need to search for direct employer there are a lot of agencies out there i mean sometimes you will not even know these are agencies and some of these agencies charge a fee like i will tell you that i do not support any agency or any company in the uk that asks you to pay money to work as a health carer in the uk because it is there in the law the uk government do not approve um companies or agencies to charge individuals that are looking for job and some of these people might give you a job some of them might be scam but at the end of the day the truth is you still need to apply for a job yourself i mean you still need to do this whole process yourself so there is no cutting corners in this 
in getting a job in the UK. It all has to be you. Nobody can help you to get a job. You need to search for direct employ employer. So how do you figure out if a company has a Tier 2 sponsorship license and if they are willing to sponsor those coming from overseas? First, you go to www.uktsponsor.co.uk. When you get to the site, change your, the industry to home and care homes. You see a lot of um, companies with Tier 2 sponsorship license. I focus on the companies that just got their license within 2021 to 2022. I mean, or 2020 to 2022. Those ones that have gotten their license like two years ago or that recently just got their license. You can always send emails to these companies that, hey, I'm a nurse, this is my CV, and do you hire those outside the UK? People are getting offers, so do not get discouraged like, oh, they, they are not sponsoring overseas care. Do not give up, keep applying. Myself with my husband, we migrated to the UK during the lockdown. So if that could be possible, why won't it be possible now? So all I can say is look for direct employer, look for smaller location and cities that are outskirts that there's no a lot of competition. If you look for companies with a license and you don't see like a job on their homepage, you can just Google um, jobs in social, social company on Google. It will bring out their career page or it will show you the job vacancy they have. So look for direct employer, avoid agencies because except you want to, if you are planning on using agency, I would advise you to use those agencies that are listed among the NHS employer. Those agencies, they follow the normal code of conduct of um, in recruiting overseas workers in the UK. They will not ask you for money. So that is why they are listed under the NHS employer. I always recommend um, agencies under the NHS employer. So if you're interested in um, using an agency, please use the ones under the NHS employer because those are the right agency for you. I've already made a video about it, approved agencies in the UK. So you can go check it out and see the list of agencies there and you can send them an email and start your process. Five and final point is do not stop applying for jobs. I mean, you need to like set a target that every day you apply for at least 10 or minimum of 10 jobs in a day. Yes, you need to like, you need to apply for a lot of jobs. I mean, when we migrated to the UK, my husband applied for over 400 jobs. So if you're still at 30 or 100, you're just starting. I mean, you are just starting. So keep applying, do not relent. If you go to any site and you see that they have a lot of care jobs, set a newsletter so that once you wake up in the morning, they'll be sending you emails. I mean, set a newsletter on all the sites, all the sites you'll find care jobs so that anytime they upload new job vacancy, you will get the email notification that there is this job. Go through the job. If you qualify, apply for it. And also know that you can apply for multiple jobs in one particular company do not feel like oh i've applied to this company before i don't want to apply again no you can apply to that same company multiple times if they have 100 job vacancies and you think you qualify for all the 100 vacancies apply for all the 100 i mean like one must click right now like do not feel like oh i apply to this agency i don't want to apply to them or i apply to them they bounce me still reapply again if, they, if you apply to them they bounce you and you upload a new job still apply do not say because they rejected me i will stop applying i mean keep reapplying send emails these companies they don't buy so you can actually send them an email tell them okay i'm a nurse in so, -so, -so country or i'm a carer in so, -so, -so country do you guys sponsor tire too i would like to come and work for your company so i made a video previously mentioning some um, agencies that are currently recruiting overseas care and some of you made mention of some of these agencies charging you I'm really sorry the truth is I, I don't know this agency charge because I've not had like a personal or one-on-one -on -one, um, contact with them so I really appreciate those of you coming to my comment session and you know tag and flagging this company so please do not pay money to any agency or any individual or any company in the UK for job and you can actually get a job in the UK you do not need to pay a dime I mean I have people coming to the UK. I'll be inviting them on my Instagram live to come and share their testimony and their, their success story so that you guys will be informed. And if you do not have any um, sort of qualification or any background in health, you do not need to start applying now. You look for a hospital, look for a care home and, and start working there just to work for at least six months. I mean, 
working for six months gives you a better chance we have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up like share comment subscribe if you have not and tell me what you think in the comment section and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye bye